fixed odds prior to Star Jigs, which was only a couple of minutes away, so or gone. So, so nearly a year since he broke the track record here, Brayson Bits. Let's see if he can win this one here today. Green light goes on. No more bets away. He was one of the last out. Jervois Broad and Mapunga Harry in front of him. He weaves a passage, goes to the centre brace and bits, and he's starting to stoke up. Coming at Jervois Broad behind those Mapunga Harry. Brace and bits striding out. Jervois Broad trying to go with him, but Brace and bits beats Jervois Broad. Third was Mapunga Harry, and the late scratching was Star Jigs. And the time around about 16.40. That's about what he does nowadays. Brace and bits, the track record holder. Um, but he's done it here today. Should be one, two, and four. One, two, four will be the judges' numbers. Sixteen forty-two was his gallop, and he's conquered Jervois Broad over the concluding stages. Fawn Dog, March twenty eighteen. Knocker Norris out of Lansing Jet, race and trained by Beck Remain. He's got a magnificent uh, strike rate here. It's his eighth start now for six wins and one placing. Over the 300, and uh, he uh, continues to race very consistently. Three quarters by one and three quarters. Three quarters by one and three quarters. The margins. And 1642 was his gallop here today. There's the all clear. One two four. One two four. Four thirty three. Then ten forty one. And the run home was 6.04. He did enough by three quarters of a length. And let's see if we can get some tape dividends for you for Brayson Bits speeding Jervois Broad and Mapunga Harry. One, two, four. All clear. All clear is there. Race 12 on the program. That's due to go at 17 minutes past three. You've got 22 minutes to sort out your investments for our final event on the program. There's a late scratching there as well. Emily Drummer was taken out earlier today, or the, later this morning, if you like, as a late scratching. So Emily.